and welcome to Viral History. We are here again this year at the Daily Mail Chalk Valley History Festival and on our explorations we've come across this wonderful third scale model of a hurricane which belongs to Chris. Chris, could you please tell us a bit about the model? Certainly. This is a Hawker Hurricane model. It's one third scale. So it has a wingspan of 14 feet, 12 feet long and 3 feet high and it's an interactive educational model. And in a nutshell, it's like a giant Airfix Meccano set, 46 different bits, I take it into schools, youth groups, colleges, adult learners, and it's used to teach people about history, science and technology, and of course, the Hawker Hurricane itself. This won the Battle of Britain. In 1940, the Germans were trying to destroy the Royal Air Force. We had two fighters, the Hawker Hurricane and the Spitfire. This yeah. hurricane did a lot of the work, of but it's not recognized by history. It was first designed in 1933, but actually flew as a prototype in 1935 and entered service to the Royal Air Force a couple of years later. So it was the right aircraft at the right time. It was the fastest airplane in the world in its day, over 300 miles an hour in 1935, wow. which is pretty quick. Was, yeah. So it's an educational model, you take it into schools then? Well, yeah. Uh, STEM, science and technology, is such a big thing in schools. We're trying to inspire kids of the future. So we use various parts. One of the reasons I chose the Hurricane was the actual, the back end of the fuselage was a truss structure, rather like a bridge. So we can teach about how triangles joined together can form strength. They would have covered this in wood, wood this way, and then with a cloth called Irish linen, uh, that would have been its skin. So okay. if they learn about this, they could be the bridge uh, engineers or scaffolders of the future. We also use bits such as the propeller. I don't know if you know, but propellers can change their pitch. So okay. they're always efficient at the right height. This technology is used in the 21st century as a wind turbine. Yeah. So every part of this model, this actually technology still exists today. So using the history to inspire the generation of the future. And then how do they interact with this model? What can they do with it physically? Uh, the smallest bit there oh. is a exhaust port just held on by magnets. They can use screwdrivers, which sometimes scare kids. They look at this with awe and wonder, but that's what we're trying to do. They can screw off the propeller. They can attach the undercarriage. We have big bits as well. So bits which require teamwork to assemble. Okay. So it's all about communication. It's all about what's this bit? As soon as they ask the question, we can tell a story about that bit. Yes. The whole thing's like a giant jigsaw puzzle storytelling kit. And speaking of the future and the past, how long have you been taking this into schools? This story about the hurricane, just over a year. So we've gone into lots of schools, thousands of young people have seen this. Old people especially love this because they love making models and they yeah. appreciate it. So. The more I go on, I'm at Chalk Valley today, I've been here all week and I've had hundreds if not thousands of people admire this wow. and ask lots of questions. You've been going into schools for one year with this, I can tell you'll be going in many, many more. It's a great piece and it's very, very useful to learn from. So thank you so not. much for telling us about it. Thank you very much. And have a good day. Cheers, thank you. <laughs>